a manga about being stepped on, a chain soldier video from Giga. Let's see what he has to say. All right, guys, hear me out. Okay. Slavery is bad. Hot take, Giga. Hot take. Yeah, I know. Slavery bad. Can I get some slavery bad in chat? But I'm oh. constantly on a journey. What do you mean? What do you mean? Slavery is bad. <laughs> but, but, I mean, look at her. I, I mean, look at her though. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. I'm constantly on a journey to find the next great anime, the next uh -huh. great manga, and nowadays we are spoiled for choice. Recently, I just finished Vinland Saga season mm. two, which is a masterpiece that shook me to my core. People jacked this series off so much. It's like the pinnacle of anime. But the clips I see is just fucking two dudes moving out a bunch of fucking wagons. Fucking tending to the crops in the farm. I know that the Farmland Saga arc is more to it than that. But from just the anime stuff, most of the people watching Vinland Saga probably thought, saw was like, what the fuck am I watching anymore? Where's the Vikings, bro? What the fuck am I doing? Like cleaning out the barn full of donkey turd. Oh, a human story so powerful. It can not only give you a great experience, mm. it can change your outlook on life. Yeah. It shows like these that reminds me why I love the medium so much. But on this never-ending journey, some days I wake up and I remember, wait a minute, I'm a... Coomer. Degenerate. 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 Nothing wrong with that. You that I've discovered a high-intensity shonen action manga... Look at her, dude. She's actually on top of him. Oh my god, she actually mounts you, man. With amazing art about being a slave to an army of insane anime girls in military. <laughs> she is so big. This is she. She remember from the trailer. Oh my god. Military uniforms that can kick your ass and will find any way, shape, or form to sit in your face every other chapter. I see. I now see why Shushu is big. Ah, okay. The giganticism fetish doesn't end with just being huge. She straight up just like places her gigantic giant ass on you like this, dude. Oh my god, dude. Every other chapter. Now I know what you're gonna say. Giga, god damn it. I want to be Shushu's butt plug. What do you think I am? Some weird perverted freak? Can you yes. please stop trying to get me into your weird hentai fetish shit? No. So, what's the name of the manga again? Point is, there are times I want to remind people that I'm always striving to find the next anime or manga masterpiece and mm. prove to the world that I'm still a functional member of society. Then okay. I remember that I play Honkai Star Rail. Hi, I'm... Oh, nothing wrong with Honkai Star Rail. Is, this, a, is this an ad? And just in case you needed a monthly reminder that I'm still a piece of garbage, here's a manga about being stepped on by hot anime girls. Nice. Before we get Chain to Soldier, let's go. Why don't we step on over to today's sponsor, PUBG Raid Shadow Legends. Use the discount code hashtag Kaka for your first free multi pull. Back to the video. Thank you. All Back right, to the regular video. Before you start raising your eyebrows at me, I just want to say I did not go out looking for a manga like this. This. I mean, I didn't either. It just popped up out of nowhere. I just saw it in the Annie chart, right? And people were like, yo, check this out. Check this out. I'm like, what is it? Manga just happened to find me. Your Honor. See, I was just innocently browsing my local manga store when a manga cover caught my eye of a military-clad, smug anime girl. Look at that, though. Well, actually, that's a character we haven't seen in the trailers, right? I don't think that character's actually been shown yet, but damn, look at the smug way that she looks down on girl you. looking down at me, emanating the purest... Like, straight up, this is, like, a very strategic position of a girl. Like, you would think, like, if a normal person saw this, it's like, oh, cool, you know, it's, like, girl fan service. But then, look at her. Look at the position of the cameraman's angle. It's like below up. So already you are in like this like subservient position to this girl who's looking down on you and like this while she's wearing like military outfits with the most smug look on her face. On top of that, you, cl you, you have the ironclad fucking stockings right here. Oh my God, it's just too much. They know what they're doing. Step on me energy man could ask for mm -hmm. with a single massive word plastered behind her. Slave. And my brain went, huh? Uh -huh. say here no slave or... How the fuck are you gonna say slave and then bring this meme up to you? And my brain went, huh? Uh, Matel say here no slave or okay. chain soldier asks a simple philosophical question to all the guys in the world. Would mm. you sell your dignity to be stepped on by a group of hot anime girls? Yeah. Is that even a question? 
Would I sell it? I don't need to fucking sell it. I'd do it for fucking free. Anime girl. Yes. In the manga's fictional apocalyptic year of 2020, a dangerous dimension called Mato merges all over yeah. Japan, bringing with them monsters that terrorize the world and cause various disasters. So like the whole formula of this show is you got Mato, which is basically gates and the gates are basically just going to shoot out monsters. So it's just a reason for us to fight. It's just like an endless fight against these random just waves of monsters summoning, right? Simple in the formula, but that's not the point, right? The point is to just fight while being mounted by a girl. Fortunately, with these monsters have come a new tool humanity can use to combat them. Peaches. A mysterious resource that can give humans supernatural Wait, powers what? they can wield, but granting these abilities to women and only women, causing a male-female power balance to be completely flipped on its head. So it's like devil fruit from One Piece, but only girls can get it. Men are now at the lower end of the social hierarchy, and Andrew Tate has become Andrew Cake. Enter <laughs> Yuki Wa- Okay, this is not top G. This is bottom G right here. I see on TikTok so many times. Tate has become Andrew Cake. Ain't no way he moves that smoothly. Look hey, at this. Enter Yuki Wakuda, a uh, <laughs> male, who's one day just minding his own business male. when he suddenly finds himself in a life or death situation in the Mato realm, facing off against an army of monsters. Thankfully, humanity has created a specialized combat squad of super-powered peach girls called the Anti-Demon Corps, and the commander of the 7th unit sweeps in just in time to save the day. 7th unit. Commander of the seventh unit, implying there are also like multiple other units with more girls. Are there multiple dudes too, or is Yuki only the, like a very special one that's like mounted by these girls? This is Kyoka Uzen, who has the ability to make slaves, which I know sounds pretty bad, <laughs> but okay, hear me out, right? Slavery bad, but but. So anyway, she obviously yeah, anyway to submit to her, which allows him to activate his ultimate ability, slavery. Mm. Transforming him to the super powerful combat form that can decimate the monster army. This okay. gives him the chance to be the hero he always wanted to be. But unfortunately, men can't technically join the anti-demon core. But it's okay because they- We can be like a pet, right? We can just be like a pet slave. Found a little loophole. He joins the seventh unit and moves into their all-female residence to the dismay nice. of all the girls that live there. Do we have like a doghouse? I don't know. How do they treat us? Do we get our own room? Are they mean to us? And has to prove his worth by becoming their caretaker, being a stay-at-home dad, doing the housework, and cooking up a mean meal in the kitchen. It's got that secret ingredient. Ooh! -hoo. And what's that? Girl armpit sweat. Come. Okay, I know that description oh, makes Jesus. it sound like it's some weird harem etchy shit, but hear me out. Okay, I'm hearing it's good, out. Weird harem etchy shit. This is. I've watched it even if it was bad, man. I'd do it regardless. It's a manga written by the same guy who did. Oh. Oh, no. I'll come back and kill. People really talk a lot of shit about the anime for this, right? Apparently, the manga was pretty good, but the anime, like, went its own tangent near the end and it's a shit to bed. I don't really know much about this show other than the fact that they're showing the armpits right now and S death just because she has that naval captain outfit on. Regardless of your opinions of Akamiga Kill, and God knows I have my opinions, I think there's one thing we can all come together to agree on. As hmm. death? <laughs> like, I don't know what the fuck she's about, but just look at her design. Like, girls in these kind of navy outfits, it's military outfits, they're great, it's amazing. Was bloody hot. God damn! Based. So imagine a calm get killed, but every girl is a different flavor of S death and replace all the edgy violence and character deaths great. with S tier horny. That's Mato Sehen. No shot they're gonna put that in the anime. No fucking shot. Is this even the manga? Is this the manga? I mean, she has her panties on here still. Look, the panty line is still there, but that's crazy. Horny. That's Mato Sehe no Slave. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed an edgy series this- I just started to realize, cause like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Are the girls like super, super, super horny for guys? Because there's like a lack of guys in this world, right? There's like a whole different balance of like, yeah. you know those dudes where it's like, the, the whole plot of the show is like, it's the future. And like, the, the, the amount of dudes are just gone. So in order to preserve humanity, like there's a bunch of women and all the girls are just like, trying to like, suck the seat out of the guy. Is this one of those kind of shows? Because I, I think they mentioned in the beginning, there's like a power balance. Like all the girls are getting superpowers, but they're like, the guys don't. So like, whenever the girls see the guys, it's like rare specimen. It's like, oh, we need him, you know, to preserve for bloodline or some shit like that. I wonder if we're going to go that way. It's much. And yes, there is more that goes into a good edgy series than just slapping some sexy anime girls in your face <clears> and calling <throat> it a day. Just because you appreciate anime titties doesn't... That face is so good. Just because you appreciate anime titties doesn't mean you can't do it with a little bit of class. I may mm. be a degenerate, but I'm what? a degenerate with standards. I'm okay. not one to watch a show with nothing but fan service and that you see. Isn't this the guy that watched Inukai-san's dog? 
<laughs> I mean, come on. He has a selling point. Maybe that would have worked when I was a dumbass 14 year old kid, but motherfucker, there's this thing called hentai. It's like it's art. but without the blue ball in it. And it's art. If yep. I'm going to watch a show, there needs to be another hook. Nice action, an interesting yep. world, a compelling romance, plot. But another equally important thing is how you implement the fan service in your show. You can't okay. just show me thick anime thighs and expect. Sorry, I got distracted. You can't just show me thick anime thighs and expect me to be impressed. And one thing I absolutely despise is when the fan service gets in the way of the action. Nothing quite kills an action scene. Fast. Kind of true. Like high school DXD right now, there are times when it's like getting so epic and I'm so immersed into the story. Then fucking Rias like slips a nipple. Koneko slips a nipple. Akino slips a nipple. It's like, did it really need to happen? There's some po points where like Asha is getting kidnapped and it's like a really heavy dramatic theme playing right now. And it's so like epic and dramatic. What happens? Her nipple just gets shown. It's like <laughs> I don't know. It it just feels like it just takes away from the show at times. There is a moment to have those like etchy moments, but I feel like during the fight, it's like why, man? So then, when you're fully invested in a fight, it's exciting. You're into it. Your yeah. heart is pounding. The next big punch is about to be thrown. Then the series goes. All right, pause for a second. Nipple. Anime titties. Yep, there it is. All right, I'm back to the action. If you're going to put a bit of fan service in your show, keep it separate or in the best case, work with it. Fan service should be the spice on your dish. Agreed. You know, I'm a good boy from Thailand. I don't just like a little bit of spice in my food. I love a lot of spice. But that doesn't mean I just want to eat a plate full of Carolina Reapers, nor would I appreciate you squirting a bottle of chili sauce on my dish when that dish is a nice cool vanilla ice cream. That's a very good analogy. That's a very good analogy. It adds nothing to the ice cream. You know, there's a time and place for everything. You know, we can eat the ice cream first. And then later, you can have a little hot sauce too on the side. But luckily, Mato Sehe no Slave knows exactly how and when to spice yeah, up his dish. Mm. See, the twist to Kyoko's powers is that after every battle, she needs to give a <clears throat> reward to a slave that's... Right, I forgot about... Oh my god, right. A fucking reward. So like, every time he fights, and he does well... You know, when you train a dog, you need to incentivize the dog, right? If you do a good treat, I mean, if you do a good trick, you're gonna get a good treat. So these rewards are like, oh, good job. You did so good in battle today. Here's your reward. I'm going to sit on your fucking face. You're going to fucking sniff that ass wet. To a slave that's proportional to the energy they just exerted while she activated her power, with her mm. completely losing control of her body and her body fully willing her actions until the reward has been completely played out. And let's just okay. say these rewards. How are they? Do my Southeast Asian heritage proud. Mom. How are we going to show this in the anime? Like, I, I mean, there's an extent. I don't know how explicit it gets in the anime itself or the manga, but like if they have to animate these reward scenes, how bad was it going to get? Mamma mia, that's a spicy. What this means is that the degeneracy never gets in the way of the action. In fact, they work together to enhance one another because the fan service you get scales with the It's separate. It's separate. And I think he mentioned that it scales proportionally to the amount of power exerted, right? So the more the more difficult the fight is, the more energy that they exert the more loot the, <laughs> the reward is going to be. Action that precedes it. There are some chapters that give you just a quick and casual brawl that rewards you with just a little tease, just a little tickling of the balls. But it's when you get the epic, multi-chapter, arc-ending yep. fights. There's the anticipation that as a reader, you know that once the battle is over, there is an... <laughs> Nobody even pays with that. They're, they're just like, okay, are there any character deaths happening right now? Who's dying right now? You know, is this a fucking insane arc? Okay, great. Because this means after this, we're going to get a fucking insane age scene. And that's actually a good way to deal with it. In fact, I wish High School DxD would do it like this too, where they just kind of separate the, um, the lewd etchiness and the epic dramatic shit that's happening on screen at most of the times, right? Equally epic, high intensity, full on degenerate etchy scene from- <laughs> She's straight up choking you out. <laughs> Wait, did you see that? Did you see that? Equally epic, high intensity, full on degenerate- <laughs> Are they just wrestling in bed? Is this a reward too? You just not get choked out by a buff girl? Uh, that sounds good to me. You're an etchy scene from the gods waiting for you. Ladies and gentlemen, I oh, present oh, oh. Pavlovian Degeneracy. Let's see this. Before conditioning on the y-axis, during conditioning. Oh, sorry. It's all, it's all here. So unconditioned stimulus and Denji, unconditioned response. Neutral stimulus, no response. Conditioned stimulus, conditioned response. This is basically just going into, you know, like training a dog, right? If a dog hears a bell, it doesn't know what it's about. But if the dog knows that after hearing the bell, it's going to get a treat afterwards, it's going to start salivating immediately, right? So the salivating here by Denji is supposed to show and signal that, you know, he already knows what's going to happen. You get some crazy hype epic scenes. Oh, we're salivating already because of rewards after. We already know it's going to be good. I'm of the firm belief that if you're going to go down the degenerate route, 
Just fully commit. You think I, a seasoned anime viewer, am impressed watching the millionth dense protagonist the accidentally walk that? into the girl's changing room? Oh no! What is this anime? What the fuck is this? It's all CGI. Fuck, I am oh. No. And thankfully, this series pulls no punches in either its action or its culture. According to the law, each reward Yuki is given is based on his subconscious desires. And thankfully, so it's not the girls that's teasing him doing what they want to do. It's his fetish. So he must be the biggest M there is, huh? For the readers, our boy must be the average Genshin Impact player because he ain't just bricked up. He's the entire fucking wall. Yeah. Starting off with just a vanilla makeout sesh. As the series goes on, the rewards get more and more spicy. Like straight up cock and ball torture. I, I, we're just licking their fucking boots like right here. Cycling through the entire library of hentai. Tags. Wait, 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 wait. Are you, are you seeing this in the background, guys? Do you see this? Do you, do you guys see this? Not a Wait, 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 go back, 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 go back here. More and more spicy, like he's... Lost Rabbit, Lost Dragon Zero One, Love Hina, Lord Kingu, Element... Are these just different tags? Sanazura Dujinshi, Sarajre, Saotome Shin, Santoka, Sant... I think this is just all character names or, you know, tags, I think. Entire library of hentai yeah, tags. Uh -huh, For the fans yeah. of the main girl, no worries. The series introduces a literal army of... How many are- and this is just a seven squadron too. Mommy, mommy, semen, demons, oh waifus with weaponized thickness. And here, come here. I, I think I like her the most. Like all the designs here, the MILF on her here. Wait for it. Introduces a literal army of dummy mom. Mmm, she actually reminds me of Aurora here from uh, Eminence and Shadow. Mommy, semen, demons, waifus with weaponized thickness. And here, come mm. here. I'm Let me coming. give you a little bit of a spoiler. Okay. Kyoko can lend her pals out to other girls. You know what that means. I I see, that's why in the trailer, he was in different forms, you know, he was like a huge, you know, monster before with the main girl, but then with like Shushu or the other girls in the blue hair girl, he was like a lot skinnier, different modes, probably like specializes in different things, maybe it's like faster. I have. Come. Come. But well, this goes into the one thing Mato Seihei does that separates it from every other generic- This is just a massage going on, right? What's going on here, hey? No, this is just a massage, a neck massage. Eric Echi series. It has mm. plot. I'm not okay. going to lie and say that fan service isn't one of the main selling points here, but that doesn't mean there's not more going for it as well. For okay. one, the action is actually pretty kick-ass. It goes beyond, I'm going to defeat you with the power of friendship and titties. Each girl's unique ability brings more... <laughs> what, what, is, what is this? What titties. the fuck is this? Each girl... Ooh. She's got guns for her hair? That's her entire power? Okay, interesting. Each unique ability brings more dimension to the action than just, I'm... I'm going to punch you. I'm going to punch you really hard. All the fights have their own thoughts and tactics put into them based okay. on the powers that are present on the playing field. There's a girl who literally just has Zod World or that she activates by doing a fucking Jojo pose. Another That's girl sick. has an ability called Python where she has to pre-program her body movements like a goddamn software engineer. Pretty There's unique. There's a MILF. She's the best one. She's the best one for sure. I love her. I love her so much. Already. I don't even know who, who she is. I can't remember what her powers are. And a similar <laughs> level of thought has been put into the characters and the... This design is insane. She's holding the peaches here too. Something tells me that she's not on our team. Something tells me she's like the main enemy, like the main final boss. General world around them. With a concept like this, it would have been easy just to slap a bunch of cardboard cutout waifus everywhere and throw in some nonsensical wacky plots whose only job is to get from one etchy scene to the next. But each girl but has what? their own backstory and motivation that drives the plot forward. So it's actual gonna be sad backstories. Instead of, you know, shameless fan service, we're gonna build up these girls. They're gonna have actual meaning. All right. You know, at least they're trying, right? At least they're actually trying. And we actually see development with some of them, more than just the amount of ways they can sit on the protagonist's face. <laughs> we learn more about the social structure and dynamics of the monsters and the anti-demon core that fight them. Inter-family drama, power scalings, power rankings, tournament arcs. Right, oh, tournament arc! But the power scalings, right? Oh, that's gonna be so fucking good, dude. Oh, the tournament arc, too? The anti-demon core that fight them. Inter-family drama, oh. power scalings, power rankings, tournament arcs. I'm gonna be real. This story isn't gonna be winning awards anytime soon, but it does everything it needs to. It does just enough to tickle that part of your brain that wants to grab the popcorn and dumb out your typical shonen action show. When you talk to a lot of anime fans and the topic of guilty pleasures come up, you hear a lot of the same titles getting thrown around. High School of the Dead, mm. High School DxD. I've yeah. not talked to a single person that has Seraphon. watched these shows fully and don't talk about them fondly. They know what their appeal is. They know the target audience. I, I just watch for the anime booba. That is straight up. But there is an actual plot, and it's nice when there is more plot than the actual plot you see on the screen, you know? They're, they're actually trying. 
it's 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 nice when they're actually trying and it's not just you know shameless fan service it's they're aiming for and if you're not into these types of shows they're not going to be changing anyone's opinion but if you do fall in that target demographic uh. if you're fine fully embracing the sleeping degenerates in I'm you, in. then this is like eating mcdonald's cooked by a three-star michelin chef don't lie, these aren't guilty pleasures. These are pleasures you feel no guilt enjoying. They not only fully commit to giving you the peak gourmet fan service you've been craving, but respect you enough to know that you still need more reasons to keep watching once you hit post not clarity. You've come. That is Mato Sehe no Slave. It knows what it is, and it devotes itself to being damn near the best product it can be for what it's trying to achieve. So if you want a manga that does one thing, and one thing really well, and that one thing is being stepped on by powerful, sexy, military-clad anime girls, yes, with the that's added me. bonus of a decent enough plots characters and actually pretty damn good action then like, look at that like look at that right i we already saw the anime trailer and the battle sequences but look at the manga panel stuff like this too stuff like this gets me very anticipated you know with hype i hope it can actually deliver on these cool sequences good action then mato sehe no slave is the manga for you in conclusion it should have been me not him many fucking anime feels like that recently doesn't it and i think that's the video Give Giga a like, you know, subscribe to his channel if you haven't. And again, this video, sorry, this anime series, right? It's coming out in January. Straight up, just an anime about being a slave to a bunch of pretty girls. And you will get little treats here and there. This is a much more cooler way of doing Inukai science dog, you know? It's like, metaphorically, we're not a dog here, but pretty much it's like the same concept, but goddamn. We will be watching this. Oh, yes, we will be.